What's up guys, another day, another special feature for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Coming straight from Samsung themselves, you guys remember in my last video, I talked about the new intelligent scan feature and uh, it's basically a combination of iris and facial scanner. But now, thanks to the extensive document obtained by Let's Go Digital, we have a full look at this new sensor and what it is and how it's going to work. Introducing the new, iris camera. Back in July 2016, Samsung applied for a patent that describes a smartphone slash electronic device with iris camera. So what is this iris camera? Well, as the name describes, it's a camera to read the iris slash eyes along with the help of a light source module which will throw the infrared light and a remote sensor to calculate the distance. Now this is how it's gonna work. As soon as the user will look at the phone, the phone will determine the distance of the person using the proximity sensor and the infrared light module will turn on and the iris camera will take a picture of the iris so this is how both of your iris will get registered and also this camera will register a part of your face as well meaning it will use the facial features along with the iris data to secure your phone according to samsung this new technology is safer than any of their technology they have used before but the patent does not mention whether this whole process will be faster or not i definitely want this new feature to be as fast as face id if not faster now because this patent is written in entirely in English, it further confirms that it's surely going to end up on the Galaxy S9. This demonstration that we saw for the intelligent scan might be its final name, but yeah, the tech behind this is the new Iris camera. Shout out to Mark Peters for sending this information out early. And uh, yeah, further about this camera is that since it can detect the face, we will see features like 3D animated emojis slash 3D stickers, which we talked about last time. And they will be very similar to Apple's and emoji. It will also help in the depth sensing. So you can expect a live focus selfie mode on the front camera as well. On the S9 and S9 Plus, it's further mentioned that Samsung can also use this iris camera in their upcoming laptops and tablets. Now speaking of upcoming devices, the Galaxy Note 8 Oreo firmware has revealed the unannounced Galaxy device codenames. We actually got a list of phones here, so the Star and Star 2 are the names for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. But there's another Star device that is mentioned here, which is called as A Star QLTE, and it's said to be the Samsung Galaxy S9 Active variant. So as you do know that Samsung, they do release an active version of their Galaxy S flagship, which is, you know, the rugged edition. So this sort of confirms that an active version of the Galaxy S9 is incoming. Then we have C10 LTE and C10 B LTE, which are the C10 and C10 Plus. Uh, these are going to be the high-end mid-range phones. And then Crown is for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And this is the first Samsung phone that's going to have an in-display fingerprint scanner. I actually made a video about the Note 9. There are some other code names listed here, which we don't know right now. Some upcoming tablets are listed listed here as well, the Tab A 10.1 2018, the Tab E 2018, and a Galaxy Tab S4, which is going to be the main flagship tablet from Samsung, and it will compete against the 2018 Apple's iPad. Then we have a big list of Galaxy J series phones, so a J2 2018, J3 Neo, a Galaxy J4, J6, J7, a J8 LTE, which is listed as the Galaxy J8. So the Galaxy J8 could be the name of the J7 2018, just like they did on their Galaxy A series, they changed the naming scheme to A8, so this could happen. Then we have the Jackpot Q LTE list of devices, which are actually the Galaxy a8 2018 phone so uh some random code names in between we don't know yet but yeah these are the upcoming unannounced devices that are found in the code of the galaxy note 8's oreo firmware so if you are currently using an s8 active or any other active phone if you are a big fan of rugged smartphone then galaxy s9 active could be the perfect 2018 rugged phone for you also the official clearview galaxy s9 and s9 plus cases reveal similar dimensions to the S8 and S8 Plus, thanks to 
mobile fun one of the most popular case makers for the galaxy devices they have uploaded a video review of these cases and basically they have the same dimensions as the last year's s8 and s8 plus and also there's a new purple version of the clearview case which follows the rumor that samsung will be launching a purple slash violet color galaxy s9 and s9 plus this also confirms the camera sensors as well, so just one for the Galaxy S9 and dual camera love for the S9 Plus. Now speaking of the camera, Twitter leakster named MMDJ from China today posted this saying the Galaxy S9 Plus major camera IMX 345 f 1.4 aperture 1 by 2.55 micron pixel size and the resolution will be 12 megapixel. OMG, this makes the Galaxy S9 Plus one step ahead of the S9, which is coming at f1.5. This also makes it the smartphone with the largest camera aperture in the world at f1.4. Imagine the low light performance, it's gonna be insane. Even the slow mo videos indoors will look much, much better. And also, thanks to the variable aperture, you'll be able to control the light entering the sensor, which will improve the overall camera massively. You'll get amazing depth of field in live focus mode. Uh, the sensor mentioned here is the IMX345. It's not yet listed on Sony's website, which means it will get debuted on the Galaxy. S9. So S9 Plus is the ultimate perfect galaxy. Not only it's bigger in size and battery, but also better with camera. Obviously, the secondary sensor will allow the optical zoom capability, which comes handy in a lot of situations where you want to zoom close to your subject without losing any quality. So yeah guys, I am excited for the Galaxy S9. MWC 2018 is approaching soon and it's going to be super fun. Every day there's something major, something awesome coming out regarding the Galaxy S9 and I'm sure there will be some more stuff coming out soon. So make sure you subscribe to this channel for future videos and let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.